Well, that happened. It was an 88-minute game, I believe, between No Diggity and Virtus Pro. Welcome back to Dream League Season 5, as uh, we just had game number one of that best of two series. And what a game we started the day off with. What a game. That was so hype. That it was went all so over intense. the place. Repairs, gems on the ground, like a real battlefield. So Four many repairs, rapiers. they don't even know what to do with them. Yep. I gotta say, man, No Diggity is quickly becoming one of my favorite new teams. Uh, it's like watching old Cloud9. I do have one question, though. Mm. I said, Pika, you can answer this. Okay, so um, obviously we don't have a lot of content to go for, go on when looking at No Diggity and how often they've played, right? So you look at the last week and a half, and one of the most outstanding games that they've had until this one was the one that they had against Team Vega last Sunday, which was basically this. Yes, pretty much. Pretty so much the same. Is there a reason why this team gets himself gets themselves in this situation <laughs> more often than other teams? Percentage wise, that is definitely true. Yeah, I mean I think it's the lineup that they draft. They go for this Enigma. Draskal mentioned it earlier, the double bubble strat. Double bubble. The oh, double nice. bubble. I like it. I mean you got the Chronosphere and the black hole and it's just double really hard diggity. pushing high ground against that lineup. <laughs> okay, ne never mind. <laughs> Let the man speak. <laughs> you said double bubble. I didn't hear that. You don't before. have to get so excited. Right, so, Pycat, please. Yeah, so they have <laughs> these two big cooldowns, this these two big spells, so it's really hard for a VP to break the base. And VP also had one of those lineups that just doesn't siege well. Mm -hmm. They have no heroes who can actually just go and hit the base. They have this Ember who's gonna go for these rapiers and the OD. Neither one of those heroes can actually go for the rapier. And I think at the point where VP tried to push base with the Aegis around, I don't know, 30, 35, 40 minute mark, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And the OD just ended up dying. He got chrono during the first, like during the Aegis. Yeah. He respawns into an already there black hole. At that point, the game was pretty much like over because they just couldn't push. There was no way for them to break the base if No Diggity just played it, you know, slowly and the way they kind of did. So it was just like a really slow death for VP. Yeah. Very slow death for VP. It was a very yes. slow death. Yeah. Well, I think this is why you also don't see Ember that much right, right it, now. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we can, while we talk about the game, we can look at the highlight. Now we will also talk about the highlight, but the highlight is fairly long compared to other highlights you've seen from us because this highlight is a Yepsor highlight. This highlight is a black hole highlight. Black holes all day. Here comes one. Where are we go? Oh, oh, there oh. he is. Oh. Oy, 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 black oy. hole minus oh dear. Oh, oh, we got another one. Oh, here comes this was, another This one. is the fight. Pause, please. Pause. 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 We got time for pause. No, no, no. We, we do Woo! it a little bit because this is the time I believe you were talking about when they were pushing high ground. Yes. This is the fight. No, I think, is it, is it really? I think it's another one because here he, the chrono is on the. This is not. This is the other fight. Other fight. Okay, continue fight. with yeah, black hole. Just keep, keep going. We'll get there. Well, it's one of the male. Oh, so it doesn't have the ages here. Right. The Achilles heel fight. of the entire thing is that these failed uphill pushes. Yes. I mean, yes. it, it was like three to four of these. I think here this we is go the fight again. Here. They Another start one. off this fight with the Chronosphere on top of this Astral. Yeah. So. Go. There you go. That's one. And pause, pause, please. Wasn't this team like the Chronosphere is obviously really well positioned and blue doesn't work when you do Chronosphere, I guess. But <laughs> I mean, the rest of his team is here. Is there no way they could have gotten there no, to help sure, out? No, for sure there is. And, and, and actually, this Chronosphere, he should, what the Lion should do, he can just walk up to here yeah. just, and shake the same. They walk up like right before the Chrono, then they just blink in and he can hex either the Invoker or the Enigma. Mm -hmm. Just use any spell on either one of those heroes and this OD, he won't die right away. But they actually just allow, and they actually have this re this melee creep here, so they do see the Enigma. Yes, so they have the vision. This is just kind of a mistake by VP. They they get scared because of this Chrono, but they need to go in here at this point because the Enigma hasn't popped this BGB yet. So they need to go in there and actually just use one spell on that Enigma, and the fight will be different. And they, they could even potentially be able to push the base at that point. I guess they're also right. scared of the black hole there still, yeah. We're ready, production. Hit us with another yeah, sick yep. black hole. This needs some, like, you know air horns and all sorts of like techno music, this black hole mix that we got there going go. on here. Oh, whoop, whoop, he's whoop, thinking whoop, about it. He whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, a re oh, look nice. at that. He's whoop, 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 whoop. What's going on back there? Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, and the shaker actually blinks right into that black hole. Oh, that's yeah. a mistake. That nice would be rhythm. the misplay right there. Boom. Yeah, so as you were saying before, this is the problem that we've been seeing. I mean, the constant can't push uphill because of the team. Here comes another black hole. Show me what. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> there we go. I wouldn't Good say stuff. whoop, whoop, whoop. I would say black hole. But that's the techno music. Well, that's the that's the MLG thing. Ah, whatever. So here we go again. Black, black hole. Black hole. <laughs> just, just do the dandy hole. 
What the fuck? Oh, that's Toby. What the hell are you talking about? Toby. I mean, Toby. Toby. Like, oh. <laughs> Shiver, sit down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, so if they just, I mean, that's the problem with Ember Spear, right? Yeah, you see here the double bubble oh, uh, coming double into bubbles. play here. Double oh, bubble. My goodness. So yeah, here they go. They're going for the end right here. Easy racks, and this is <clears throat> way after the game should have already been over. But can we have <laughs> double whoa, whoa, bubble whoa, equals whoa, whoa. trouble? There Think we about go. That the next time you play. No diggity double bubble equaling trouble. And here we go, one another bubble hole. Look at those two. Oh boy. Yeah. Pretty good. Well, there's bubbles all over that place. goddamn place. There's circles everywhere. So, no matter how much farm you give an ember, he just can't do it. Is that what we learned today? Is that why nobody picks him? I mean, it was unlimited money. That guy's had more money than I've ever seen. But if you just don't have some somebody to push uphill, I mean, ultimately the everything. game the game is about killing the throne or the tree and. Yeah, they just, that's what they can't do. He can kill heroes, he can defend his base for a really long time, but he just doesn't have the ability to actually go to the enemy's base and, you know, hit stuff. Because if he puts himself in a position where he's in danger, like he has to actually go up and hit the base to mm -hmm. deal damage to it, then, then he's in, you know, a position where they can go on him. And that's not what he wants. He wants to just be able to deal damage without actually taking any damage. And that's the issue with the Ember. Yeah, absolutely. Well... What did they learn? Like, I, you're not going to ban out Enigma. You're not going to ban out Void. How are you going to stop this from happening again? No, I think they should. They should, in the second phase, they're most likely going to ban out the Enigma. They, okay. they picked that Enigma on the third pick. And they did. Yeah, I think VP should know already also that VP, I mean, that No Diggity liked running this Enigma because they ran it in other series and yeah. also with a similar composition. Yeah. So banning the Enigma in the second phase is one option or banning the Void in the first one. I mean, either one is okay. So is that worth it, banning the Void in the first one? Because then they would let Nature's Prophet and Lone Druid through? I mean, they could let one of them through, and then if they have a plan to deal with it, it could be okay. Okay. So no Void, no Enigma. Do you feel like uh, no Diggity, when, from what we've seen so far, mm -hmm. are they... I'm, I'm gonna... It's, it's really mean to say, and I don't mean it as black and white as, oh, it, as, the, as, as the way of saying it. Um, are they a one-trick pony? Oh! No, I don't really think so. <laughs> I mean, like you said yourself, right, with the bans, if you ban these heroes, then they have the Furion and this Lone Druid. Mm. Um, I do think that they rely a bit on this Enigma, which yeah. we will see if it, you know, ends up biting them. But it could also just be that they are really good with this Enigma, and as long as teams keep giving it to them, then they just keep picking it. But I'm sure they have other heroes as well for when they won't get the Enigma. Yeah. Uh, now, on hindsight, during the game, at some point, uh, there was a lot of money on the Ember Spirit. And he bought more rapiers, and he put his uh, Lincoln Sphere in the in his, uh, in his stash. And you said this this could be game losing. Yeah. Do you still agree with that? Is that the reason why they potentially lost? Even like disregarding really the early game, yeah. like when it got to that stage already. I mean, I just think it's it's kind of like you know the Ember. He just has a limited amount of slots, and no matter what he does, he's gonna lack something. Yeah. You know, if he doesn't have that Lincoln's, it's really difficult for him to position himself against two hexes on that team. And also a Bane who can, you know, grip him. And if he doesn't have that secondary rapier, well, then maybe he doesn't have enough damage because they have so much lockdown for the other heroes that he might be the only one dealing damage. So it's kind of like whatever he does. There's no, in, there's no right answer. Yeah, there's not really any right answer. But yeah, they, they did lose. But I don't really think it was because he dropped the Lincolns. It's more just the lineup. They couldn't break base the way they played it. Right. Yeah. They were very close at some point. They As in, even afterwards, after the fact, they they actually almost they almost won. They that's, almost oh, this won. Was, this is a, one of those very frustrating games to have as a I pro. Mean, but that's what we're seeing a lot from No Diggity lately. We're seeing a lot of control heroes, yeah. right? We're seeing that the Void picks up all the time. They love Enigma, and they like making sure that no matter how they do in the early game, they seem to identify they're not the best laners, but they are good at those team fights and holding their ground. So maybe we'll see that again. I would love to see... VP ban them into a place that they're not comfortable like you were talking about before. Yeah. And hopefully we get to see that very soon. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, indeed. We are still waiting for last uh, players to join the lobby as... I mean, you can imagine that this game is quite intense and they do need a little bit of a break before sure. continuing on with the series. I want to hear from you guys who you f thought the MVP was for this game. I mean, this was an 88-minute game. Now, we've Kidding. seen all the black holes from Yapsor, <laughs> so that's the easy cop-out answer. What? I do not want to hear Yapsor. He played I amazingly. I said that before the game. I said <coughs> I wanted to watch Yapsor. True. So I, why but, do I have to change it now? Okay, so, <laughs> but you're already looking forward to Yapsor, so you're not really surprised by him playing well. 
Who surprised you? Who played better than Shinra's expectations? net worth certainly surprised me. Uh, <laughs> 9k net worth at 81 minutes into the game. What is that, 1,000 1, bucks every 10 minutes? That's pretty good. Almost. Huh? Oh, yeah. A little bit less. Ain't good at math, rather, but... Uh, more. Yeah, that was surprising. Surprisingly uh, terrifying for that poor guy. But... I asked things that were good, though. Oh, good things, sorry. Yeah. Um, who cares? Sinrin, nice here. picture of Sinrin. I think that Yoki <laughs> played really well. I mean, he kind of did what he could do. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, it was not an easy game, and he held him in that game for a really long time. You saw a lot of the VP heroes, they got caught out a lot, but he actually managed to not die for such a long time. I, I would actually like to know, <coughs> like, I'm, I'm sure it was, you know, like 30, 40 minutes he, without him dying at one point. Mm. So I think he played really well, and then, I mean, he did, I felt, all he could do. And then it was more on the rest of his team that they got caught out a couple of times and maybe their positioning was a bit off. And, you know, we saw in that fight as well when the, when they were actually sieging base, both the Shaker and the Lion, instead of jumping in, they kind of ran and they ditched G, which probably mm. wasn't the right decision in hindsight. <laughs> hindsight. Hindsight yep. is twenty twenty. Hey after all. So Wait from a Verge Pro perspective, other than bans, what are they going to change up? I mean, their versatility in terms of drafts, maybe, or rather draft a more versatile lineup that can go high ground would be the solution here for them, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, I think they're going to keep in mind that they want something that can actually siege. Mm -hmm. But I think also it's going to be a bit that they're going to ban this Enigma and potentially Void, so that sieging for them might be a bit easier. Mm. Okay. Any heroes you want to see from them? Uh, from VP, uh, I mean, I still like G on the OD. I think it's a good hero. I think it's a good fit for him. It's one of those heroes that are they're good in the laning phase mm -hmm. and he can do well with it. I just want to see maybe a different hero for Yoki, maybe a Sven. Something like that. Yeah. You, you're you all into the Sven, though. You're always loving yeah. that Sven. Yeah, I'm a yeah, big, fan of the Sven. I mean, Sven. The, but we've seen so many games where Sven's like, top not worth, and then but they lose. <laughs> <laughs> Ember Spirit Syndrome is what I'm going to yeah. call that from now on. Well, we saw the at Finum game yesterday where they played against but BK they came and the back Sven after did that, actually yes. win. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, I think you can. It's kind of like what... It's, it's a lot about what other heroes you have around him, you know? Yeah. So it's a lot on the supporting cast, if they can actually help you out so that you can deal that damage that you're supposed to. So it's maybe more about those heroes that can actually help the Sven or the carry rather than the carry itself. Okay, and you said you... Yes, sorry, go ahead. The only time I've ever tricked Sindarin in real life is to do something so stupid he doesn't suspect. Because he's a very high-level thinking guy. You can't push high ground. Make sure they can't push high ground. Techies. Keep that high ground secure. They can't push. I can't push. Four hours later, somebody's about to have a heart attack. Win the game. Sven, easy hero. Techies is the pick. You got to be too stupid for Cinderin to understand you. That's how you beat Cinderin. Until everybody runs up the high ground with a BKB and just kills your tower in two hits and you just win. Uh, what? What? Hmm? what? 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 Okay. Never mind. That's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> but you, call, you basically... You said Yoki, your MVP for Virtus Pro, did really well, better than expectations. Mm. You basically, rather than, than giving a shout out to someone, you give a call out to okay, Sinner. Okay. I'm I mean, gonna. FNG was amazing on the Earth Shaker. Let's okay. just say that uh, the pi the clicks pi the clinks picks were really good. I should say Bone Fletcher. That's so much easier. The Bone Fletcher picks were easy peasy. More kept going in, though. slamming on that. It's good stuff. What? Clinks, one word. Bone Fletcher, two Bone words. Bone Fletcher sounds a lot know. more badass. Yeah, I think. I think so as well. Bone, Bone Fletcher. Fletcher. Clinks sounds like what you name an elf, dude. I think that's a sad name. Clinks. Yo, oh, let us go find Clinks. Okay. I believe. Uh, <laughs> Why do you got to do this? To <laughs> no, no, I believe we're in the draft. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> right, we're so on. hopefully, yeah, uh, we can get ourselves uh, in there.